Dr. Jonathan Edlow, emergency room physician at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and author of the book Bullseye, Unraveling the Medical Mystery of Lyme Disease, discusses ticks and ways to keep your family safe this summer. The first case of Lyme disease, what we now know to be Lyme disease, uh, was actually reported in the 1880s in Germany. Lyme disease is common and it's becoming much more common. This year, which is 2015, I think there's like four to 5,000 cases in Massachusetts. Lyme disease is, is much more common than that though. And there's pretty good information that nationwide, probably one case in 10 is actually reported to the authorities, to the CDC, to the state departments of public health. So if you hear a number like 4,000, it's probably 10 times that. So the signs and symptoms of Lyme disease are extremely variable. The most notorious one or best known one is the rash that one gets. It's a large expanding rash. It's, it's red. It's usually flat. It's usually circular or oval and it gradually expands day by day. Once the, the disease disseminates from the site of the original tick bite, which is where that rash will be, then there are symptoms of early disseminated Lyme disease, the most common of which is just Bell's palsy, paralysis of half of the face, multiple erythema migrans, multiple rashes, a very mild meningitis, carditis, so inflammation of the heart. And then later on, people can get an arthritis, which is sort of the, the classic Lyme arthritis, usually of the knee. If you're in a place where there's deer, for example, where you can see deer from your house, there's almost certainly Lyme disease ticks in that area. I had a patient recently that found an Ixodes scapularis, which is the deer tick. So even in Newton, there are deer ticks that carry Lyme disease. So you don't have to you know, go on vacation. You don't have to go to the Cape or the islands. You can get it right here at home. Preventing being bitten by a tick in the first place is obviously the best way to prevent Lyme disease. Maintaining the shrubs and cutting the grass. Wearing white clothes will make it easier to see a tick crawling on you compared to if you're wearing dark clothes, for example. If you're walking down a trail, bushes on either side, if you stay in the center of the trail and are not touching the bushes with your skin, you're much less likely to get bitten by a tick. You can use things that have DEET uh, on your skin and things that have permethrin that can be put onto clothing uh, to keep the ticks from biting you. And then finally, at the end of the day, doing a tick check because the tick has to be on you for a certain period of time in order to transmit Lyme disease. So especially with kids each night, you know, doing a, a tick check, especially in the hair and at the hairline, to make sure that there's not a tick attached. Well, Lyme disease is the most notorious tick-borne disease, but there, there are plenty of others. The deer tick can also transmit babesiosis, which is a malaria-like illness. It can also transmit something called anaplasmosis. So then there's also the dog tick. They can transmit tularemia, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, uh, and extraordinarily rarely tick paralysis. I think the most important thing is, number one, to be aware of it, to avoid tick exposure when you can. And if you have symptoms during the summer that you think might be due to ticks, uh, to see your doctor.